Welcome back to the Esports Report, ladies and gentlemen. It's Call of Duty Championship group announcement time. Puckett's got his giant mug. Everyone's happy. Uh, we're finally at the okie dokie. You see, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> um, it's like, honestly, it's honestly like having two small children with you at all times. I'm the tall one. Yeah, he's the, the I'm short. One. He's the short one. But he That's never falls so over. Robin. <laughs> anyway, the final group, the group of death. Just topple over myself group when I walk past. H. That's H for all your Americans. Yes, <laughs> TK, Epsilon, Integral Nation, and Strictly Business. This one is going to be so hype. And let me just say it again, guys. That is not integral. That is integral. Integral. Or integral. What number is that, Ben? Integral. Shut up. Integral. Uh, we're joined by Neslo. We've got Neslo on the, on the no, interwebs. He, he said it right, though. I was uh, he was calling them integral, and I was way wrong. Well, Neslo, I welcome to the English. show, my friend. Uh, group of Death, how do you feel about this? Honestly, we don't really look at group play like it's something scary. I've played you know, pool play in a bunch of events. I've actually been in pretty hard pool plays at events. Um, I think we think TK is going to be our hardest matchup. And I, I mean, we're just confident. I think this team has gone through like a lot of phases. And I think going into the biggest tournament of the year, we know we got to put it together now. And I, th I think we're going to win our pool. Before we get to the other teams in your pool, let's take a step back all the way to the North American Championship. Uh, we didn't see a whole lot of Strictly Business games on the main stage. Can you kind of walk us through that tournament? What were your thoughts on the other American teams that you had to face off against? So, you know, we cruised by around one, you know, everyone watched that. It was, it was pretty easy. It's just a warm up game pretty much. Then uh, we played TK. We got three owed. Uh, the three owed doesn't really say a lot about the series. I think our team, we know we played awful in that series. You know, we didn't play like ourselves. We made a lot of mistakes and all the maps are pretty close in general. So we got three owed by them and then we're like, all right, we got to qualify. And then we just, we played a couple average teams in, in the losers bracket. We played fear to qualify and it was a pretty, they're all easy series. We didn't drop a map in losers. And I think our team knows our potential. I think our team knows that we, we can make it to the finals. You know, we have three slayers on our team and when we're all on, it's, it's unstoppable. We just got to put it together at the what, same time. What are the roles currently on the squad? Dito, he's you know he's one of the best ARs I've ever played with. He just his job is a hold down map position, kill things, play selfish. Uh, John, he does it all. John is probably you know the best player in Call of Duty right now, in my opinion. Wow. Uh, he literally he literally runs around and he's just a maniac. There's there's stuff he does. He makes plays. He makes everybody's job easier. You know, Fizzerp is kind of like the wild card. He's the guy that you don't really know what he's going to do. He, you know, he's always experimenting with classes, guns, positions. And, you know, he's, he's a pretty selfless player. He does whatever it takes to win and always implements strategies. And then you have me. I mean, I have the same role than when I was on TK. I kind of just fill in the gaps. I play a lot of the hill. And I just I, I support anybody on my team. So it, It's strange because, especially yesterday, we kind of watched you guys play through. And it seems like, it, you know, certain matches... You know, you and Fizzle would be on the top, and then certain matches, you know, John and Dito would be on the top. And it seems like you're kind of switching roles so much. And I remember I texted you yesterday, I was talking about your CTF, for example. That's where it really kind of stood out to us. Your CTF yesterday was really, really poor. It looked like you were kind of lost. At times, you were just like single fi single file, running onto the enemy flag, trying to pull it. Um, no one really knew where they were going. But you said CTF's your best game type. That really surprised yeah. me, because I thought it'd be Search and Destroy with you guys. Uh, no, honestly, Search and Destroy is our weakest game type right now. It's something we need to work oh. on. Uh, we don't really, I mean, we've, we've gotten a lot better at it since regionals in Orlando, but we, we don't work together as much because we have a lot of individually talented players on our team. Uh, we put ourselves in a lot of 4v2, 3v2 situations that we just got to capitalize on, not choke and things like that. And like, that's, that's our biggest thing is just not choking and playing to our game because there's no reason on paper this roster can't win. Now, we saw you go out round two of Saturday's 2K. I didn't get a chance to watch your performance in the 5K, but it was good. How, how's the team looking online, and what went wrong on Saturday for you? I mean, we played TIC. They're a really good team. They, they knock out a lot of pros. It's just it's best of threes, and it's online, and it's Terrace S&D last map, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, it's just you got to win your 2-0s in the best of threes early on in the online tournaments. If not, you got to go to a, you know, a random S&D map like that. And we don't really know how those players play. We don't have... We don't have the benefit of the doubt and know exactly what they do. They can do whatever they want, and we're not really expecting much. And then we played the 5K we got on early. We all had good breakfast. We took it seriously. You know, like, this is the last major online tournament before, you know, champs. And we decided, you know, we're going to make a run. And it's just clutching up game threes, game fives. Online land, it's the same thing. If you win your SNDs, you're going to win series. Not knowing your opponents was something that you kind of pointed to there uh, in your 
troubles against TIC. Does that worry you coming into champ, champs when you're playing against teams from all over the world, uh, specifically in this group? You got Epsilon there, um, very good. as well as Integral from, from Australia. Nah, I mean, we're going to be doing our research. We're going to be looking at a lot of VODs and gameplays, what Epsilon does, what they're good at, what they're not good at. And, you know, TK, of course, I know what they're good at. I know what they're not good at already. So, I mean, we, we put a lot into it outside of Call of Duty. And uh, we're not we're not really worried too much. This is your first Call of Duty World Championship, Neslo, which is extremely surprising. So first of all, congratulations on finally yeah. finally getting there. Thanks, you um, playing for a million dollars, bro. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's it's pretty time, cool. Right? It's, 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 it's kind of crazy. Um, in terms of pressure for yourself, is that something which you're putting a lot on? Like, are you, are you putting a lot of pressure on yourself to perform well, knowing that there's going to be a lot of eyes looking at you? I mean, I love that feeling. I love a lot of eyes looking at me. Uh, I was always the underdog. When I was on TK as a player, I was an underdog or a team was an underdog. And I, I really, I, I love that stance. I love taking that position in tournaments. You know, everyone thinking, you know, these guys are good, but I don't see them making out a pool play. Like, I want people to tell me we're not making out a pool play. Got I it. Think, You're not going to make out. I think play. our team is the best team in the game. I really do. And, you know, Optic Gaming is the best right now. They've proven it time after time. Like, they're the first team that's won everything, not only on land, but online. And they're looking scary. Yeah, they do. But I really think this team, this team has what it takes to make it out of pool play. I think this team has what it takes to go far in tournaments. These guys have all been here before. They've they've won championships, you know, all three players in this team. So, and it's just it's just we got to come together right now. It's it's about right now. Let me let me ask you this then. If you you're confident that you're going to go through, you have Integral, you got Epsilon, you have T TK in that pool. Like that three very talented squads. Who would you say out of those three is going to join you? TK TK, you say you don't think Epsilon gets out of pool play? Nope. Really? Dude, Yo, that is Swanee, you hear that? Bro, that is crazy. Swanee came over to North America, and he destroyed. Obviously, he didn't get good placements, but his individual play was... I'm trying to think, did you play against Swanee? Uh, yeah, ON versus nope. SB UMG, was it not? No, we didn't play them in UMG. No. You didn't play? No. Oh. It's just going to come down to search and destroy us. Oh. It's, it's literally... If you win your search and destroy, like if our team wins our first search, series are going to be easy. Okay. Really so knowing that Epsilon, oh, is, Epsilon is one search of the best team. search and destroy teams in the world. Does That's that scare fun. you a little bit? Nah, I'm not worried at all. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah they got physics, man. They, don't, they ain't worried about anything. I want to know. You looking good too, bro. I like the hair. I like the Thanks, beard. Buddy. I like the headset. You looking good today, my that's, friend. That's what time shit, man. He's got. He's got. Thanks, got to be fresh. He's got to look, look good. You got to look fresh. Strictly business coming in with confidence. Is that is exactly what I want to hear. I don't know who's coming out between you three. Uh, I have no Integral. Idea. I love you guys, but no offense. You're the third best in Australia, and there's a huge gap between Mind Freak, who I think can compete for top eight, and then you got Exile and an Integral. I think going up against these three, you're, you're facing off against probably top 12 teams oh. in the world here. Could we potentially see maybe another tie? A three-way? Imagine it's a three-way tie between Epsilon, TK, and SB where it was settled with an SMD. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think like, like you guys think Epsilon's one of the best SMD teams in the world. I'm more worried about their respawn. You know, the European teams, like their hard point has always been their best game type. And I, like, I haven't really watched too much of Epsilon. I watched some of the EU qualifiers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I think North American Search and Destroy and what we do on land, like there's no reason our team can't win Search and Destroy with me and Fizzurp on our team, to be honest. It's just, right. it's all about talking, it's communicating. I think our biggest problem, if we have a weakness, is communication. That's it. Uh, we talked about crazy classes. Fizzurp won, yes, I'm so glad you not afraid to try something unique. Uh, have you guys been saving any, any secret <laughs> strats for champs? Yeah, yeah, yeah I we, saw that. There's a lot that no one has an idea about. That they'll see a champs. You're gonna let me know though before I cast you, right? Oh, 100 percent. That's my dude, Nezlo, right there. <laughs> <laughs> just watch Fizzer. S and D. Just watch Phil. Just watch the Phil show. I'm ready yeah. for that. I, here's a question though. Let's say you you think of something, right? How have you practiced that, knowing that you practicing it basically shows another team a strategy which you think? Are you basically just going off? I don't win? think you practice it at all. Yeah, that, that's sometimes, what I'm saying. Yeah, sometimes you don't practice it. Like we so have you, a lot of we have like, a lot of ideas that are written down in our heads. You know, things we know that are going to work, and things that we we've, we've taught, tried in wagers, GBs, random teams, teams that aren't really going to like you know record it. But like, oh, that's that's a smart idea. But we're not really going to throw all out there in like a 2K or 5K. No matter like how bad you want to win that money and things like that, there's 100K on the line next week, and that's what's more important. So when do you reckon we'll see it? Are, are you going to have to bring out those sort of hidden strats in pool play? Because I mean... Oh, 100%. So we're going to see it straight out of the bat. Yeah. I'm yeah, I, I mean, 
Uh, yeah, that Epsilon and, and SB match is going to be a good one. Honestly, I think TK versus SB is, is even even more hype. You have kind of the rivalry. You have the fact that they TK 3 would them at US Championship. They're going to want revenge. I'm more hyped by that game than any of the other games so far in pool play. All right, Nezlo. I've asked this question to everyone else. How far do you think the team gets? Who else is competing for the spots in the championship match? Uh, I think we'll be playing off the game in the finals. Opticaming, strictly business. And who else do you think you'll have to run through maybe in the semifinals or quarters? Denial, maybe TK again if we meet up with them. Um, maybe Phase Red. Phase Red's kind of like a wild card. There's a lot of good teams. Uh, everyone's really close right now, to be honest, team-wise. You know, some teams are getting first round in 2K. Some teams are making it to the finals. It's been pretty inconsistent, uh, even in the league, inconsistent results. So uh, there's a lot of teams we're going to beat. And there's a lot of teams that we're going to meet. And you're just going to have to beat them all if you're going to get to the finals. It's the hardest tournament of the year, so. Truth. Very true. Very true. I'm excited, though. I'm pumped. I'm so excited. Now we know all the pools. Excitement level. Nezlo, did you look at the other pools or really just focus on yours? I mean, I took a glance at the other pools. I see, like, a lot of them are pretty predictable, Any, in my opinion. I just Are think you worried for any teams. of the American teams? Do you think... Uh, We'll see anyone other than Americans coming out of the pools. Obviously, there's two of them that <laughs> like, no, no, don't have a second American team. I mean, I think uh, Owen's pool is pretty easy. I think Envy's pool is pretty easy. Uh, Optic and Orbit, they're going to come out of their pool. Uh, I don't really see that like that many opportunities for upsets. But, you know, every year uh, a team comes out. You know, Something last happens. year it was T1 Daughters, I think it was. Too. And every year, like, we don't know. Like, that's we don't have the gift to know every Australian team, every European team. We don't play them every day. Right. And they don't even have to be the best. They could just play a totally different style that no one's ready for. And that's all it takes is, is three maps, you know, or an unlucky overtime. It's, it's Call of Duty. It's literally about who shows up at that given day. That's why communication is so important. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming on the eSports Report today. Make sure you follow Neslo on Twitter, guys. Make sure to check him out there. And, of Thanks, course, Nezlo. you can catch him with yep. Strictly Business facing off against Team Caliber, Epsilon. And who's the fourth in this? Integral, Integral Nation. Integral Nation. Um, now that Neslo has gone, let's talk for real. How far <laughs> does Epsilon go? I mean... Do they stop right here? Does SB get through? This, it, is, this it, is honestly the group of death. Because... I know we, we kind of look at Integral and we're like, yeah, you know, that's Australian team that's the best in Australia. But who knows? Like, we've only seen those teams play against each other. No, you, you think you do, but we thought the same thing last year. Honestly, at the nah. World Championship, you see crazy stuff happen. You you saw two teams competing for that number one spot last year in Australia. I, this no, year, I, there's a clear one, there's a clear two, and then there is a but, way distant third. Yeah, but th what I'm saying is, I'm not saying they're going to come out, but what I'm saying is, what happens if they cause an upset against TK? What gotcha. if they beat TK? Which... Do they cause a quad? What, what if what if what if they beat strictly business? What if they I, beat Epsilon? I'm not I saying they're gonna be all three. I don't think they're coming out of I can honestly see a three way tie here. I could see TK losing to Epsilon, TK beating SB. Well then I think I actually think Should I, I think there, actually yeah. Epsilon probably beats SB. Yep. Epsilon's Epsilon's S and D. I mean, granted we'd say it's like Europe versus North America, that's great. They were doing stuff that and having spots that like, North American players are just like starting to figure out like now. The, the spots just think, are something that's a big deal, but really, when I look at Epsilon, I think it's one of the scariest rosters on paper. Respawn, too. Like, you have, I think, I think you have a very similar uh, ma up. makeup as Phase Red or Optic Gaming. Like, you have Mad Cat, who's your Super Slayer. You got Tommy, who's right there with him as a Slayer, for also an S&D specialist. Josh, Chase as an Chase. objective player, is one of the better Slayers in the objective role. And then you have Swanee, who's kind of that anchor bow. I mean, it's very similar to the other makeups of your top American teams. And we have seen that the teams that place the highest at these events have had a top caliber Cowboy. AR. Yeah. Who's the best AR in that group? Oh, Swanee, without a shadow of a doubt. He stands way, way over, out. Over everybody yeah, else in the group, and, he and stands out. where does TK oh, struggle? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But then where does TK struggles in S&D as well? They did season one. They did season one. Now, now I think TK is kind of all firing. Yo, they They're always very lose, well lose round 11 on solar. That was just mean, man. But I do I, think, in all honesty, I, I do this think may, Epsilon, this, you I may, think Epsilon makes it out of this. You, you may disagree with me, but I think the most important game type in in that whole pool there is going to be uplink. I really think, and it comes down to, is uplink going to be three or four? Because the, again, European uplink, they were a little bit behind. They're definitely caught up now. I think you can kind of see. But still, I think, you know, TK's uplink is just very, very good. I think Strictly Business, 
I kind of expect them to, to win that uplink against Epsilon. I think that, was, that would be the one game mode where I think I would say I'm more favored towards Strictly Business. Like, a game like Hardpoint, for example, I'm thinking Epsilon, I'm just going to walk straight through. Like, it's not even going to be funny. It's going to be a kill fest. Um, it's it's pretty brutal. Then it comes down to that search and destroy. Strictly Europe, Business sorry. takes Optic Nation to round 11. You guys probably heard about it, but yeah. didn't really get a chance to see it. Ben it and I were match. casting a it different match insane. while it was happening. The it was um, so match. hype. But I think because I didn't watch that SB match and I only saw right. the TK beatdown, um, that I have SB as the weakest of the three here, clearly. I, like, I, also, I also take schedule into account here. I would love to know if the TK SB match is before the SB oh. Epsilon match. Because oh. if oh. TK oh. beats SB bad, Yo, does SB it. bounce back wink, against Epsilon? Wink once if TK SB is the first game. Because <laughs> I definitely think that that definitely plays a part in this group. Because I actually really agree. Going, going into the second games, it's important to know where you're at. Second games, it's important to know where you're at. And you know, TK beats SB coming in really confident. TK. Beat some bad for a series. How does SB bounce back if their next game is directly against Epsilon? If it's against Integral, okay, you can, you know, I mean, you have some imagine, time. Imagine, imagine that's if a it's, tough round if, two. If it's a TK SB and an Epsilon versus Integral, I think we all agree Epsilon's going to beat Integral, yeah. right? Nine times out of ten, they should win that They're game. They're going to beat Integral. Right. So then you have Epsilon going in 1 0. If they play the loser of the first game, like, they're going to have such hype. They really are. Like, they, they yeah. could immediately. Yeah, I mean, they know they win up. that series. They're good. Exactly. And, and that's. A huge sigh of relief. Oh, I just wish I knew how the bracket worked. I'm I'm already on stage two. I already got my teams picked out for who pools. Do you, who do you think is coming out? I, of pools? I made. Because he he says. No. No, we saved that. Don't even consider I, telling me strictly business is getting out. This is Epsilon and Team Caliber it. through and through. I Unless it TK chokes, and SB goes through over TK. There's no way Epsilon doesn't get to the bracket this year. I think Epsilon makes 100% sure. 100% positive. positive. I actually... I, mean, I have so I, I'm not going to tell you which one. I have Epsilon right now. I have six non-North American teams making it to the bracket. I had Epsilon beating TK. Have six? I have six non-North American teams Yo. making it. Oh, including, yeah, including Australians. Yeah. All right. I, I have two of them one, are... Two, three, they have four. to. I have four. Or you're saying... I, I have four non-North American teams making it out. Just off the top of my Yo, head. Yo, what's up? Fab E D E. Wait, which is your other one? Yo, we love some Germans. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, you have you have that team right now. Kiwisuperhype.com. That could honestly, I think I think that one's probably right. Which one? That one. Why are you hiding? Oh, 100 percent Why are you hiding it? Hiding what? Because well, I, I just asked you, you like save it for the burger show. Where's you saving it? it? Save it for the burger show. Never. Use the burger show. I'm saving it for the burger show. Save it for the bracket show. Mm. On the bracket show, I'm gonna make us do a a hypothetical bracket this time because yeah. I do feel like that that bracket needs to be discussed and unfortunately we don't know how it's going to play out with the pools but we should still argue match by match I think we should I think yeah. there's a fair way of guessing it in the sense that well, so I knowing, knowing, knowing the, the way how pool works, I did my knowing how a bracket would work, what is the most obvious way that it could work? Ones right. versus twos. Right. But and I and did going mine. from like group A to whatever, whatever. The, the way that a bracket would normally work. I think we should just have all of the group ones, like whoever wins group, goes one through eight down a line and then randomize that well, second. Normally, or would no, you do one no, and no, eight? No, no, no. Normally one a would play H. eight. Or, yeah, you would, you would do it that way. That's normally how... Yeah. All right, we'll do you that. Expect something like that. I think we'll, random do, we'll is figure it out on the bracket show. Yeah, we got, we got you. We have time. Yeah, we got, we got nothing but time. Well, uh, we don't. We have, um, we, have to, we, <laughs> we actually have a day. We, we have tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna recap all of the, the groups one more time uh, to go through this all before we're done. We also have our 2K and 5K coverage to discuss today on the esports report. But so many video games. Damn, this is a great way to start the week, man. I was I'm waiting excited. for the announcement. The announcement is here. And now the teams can start looking at each other. I think that's kind of cool, too. You have four days to study your opponents, think about what you need to do differently, if anything at all, before you match up in groups. Because like uh, Sensor was saying, we have never seen pool play where an unpredicted result didn't come through. We saw it at the it's Columbus always Open. We've seen it last year at COD Champs and even the year Wait, before. You... Say that again. So there's always some kind of upset. Oh. Or like our favorite team doesn't oh. get that top spot. Right, in, or they get the second. There's always yeah. something happens. Every single time you see pool play, every single time, something happens. It could be something ridiculous like, I don't know, maybe, maybe the now do get like the second seed. Or maybe, you know, a team like AR doesn't make it. All right, let's go Who through knows? the groups one more time, starting at group A. Uh, Optic Gaming. 
top squad in the world right now at the top of Group A. Facing off against the Italians, NXG Rapid. You got the French there in Vitality X. We should note for anyone joining the show just now, Gotaga left Vitality, will not be playing with the team at Championships. He's not going to be attending this year. Uh, so they are picking up, I think it was Oxygen. Oxygen. Yeah, as their fourth. And then Team Orbit, the squad which was put together for the North American Regionals, they have qualified to challenge for that second spot. Um, Matt, you got both American teams here? Uh, yes, ben? I think the NXG Rapid yeah, Orbit enough. game is pretty close, though. No, I disagree. I think I think it's going to be close. I think it's OG think, ben. T, T, uh, Team Orbit just come out and I think it's uh, if Vitality gets third, or do you have Rapid? Uh, I think Rapid's at that third. point. I think it's irrelevant. I would I'd say right, Vitality would probably finish what fourth without Gotaga. Yeah, maybe. I, or, but again, that's irrelevant. I, I'm up. just looking at first and second. That's Power. What I care about. Come on, boys. Yeah, well, I got Orbit. Group Group B. You got Denial, Hyper Games. Clarity Gaming, Prophecy, I'm the now prof on this one. If you try and argue otherwise, you have to have a serious argument. How oh. serious is your argument, Puckett? I love croissants. <laughs> are you really telling me? Are you Do really it. telling me <laughs> you, you think Hyper Games is You won't. Be... This is, re all right, realistically, Denal, <laughs> you don't think Hyper Denal, Games Denal, Denal is 100% coming out. This is a prof squad, which you said we're going to finish full I got the US clarity. Championship. If I could have <laughs> named all four Hyper Games members without having to control F, I would have, but... uh. Yeah, I'm going to have to go prophecy here. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Matt, you, gonna, say, you, you said Clarity's going to be No, I'm Hyper agreeing. Games beat TK online this week. I do think... Uh, Great. I think Denal and Prof get through. I think uh, Hyper Games finishes a close third. Um, that Hyper Games definitely has familiar faces. For those of you guys who've been watching Call of Duty for a while, of course, you've seen uh, Maxi. He has been part of multiple organizations, including Vitality, and then Azox, another top French player to look out for. Let's keep it rolling, though, as we get over to Group C. This one, uh, pretty interesting, especially if you're working over at Fab Esports. Got to be frustrated that your two teams have to face off. However, is this a I good mean, opportunity to see one of your teams definitely going Exactly. Through? That's what I was going to say. Maybe the other way. You have a big chance of making it through into the bracket. I have one of them making it through to the bracket. Yes, you do. Uh, Automatic Reload, the other American squad there to join hey. Phase Red. The American teams don't know too much about the international talent. So I think if AR takes everyone else lightly, they are in some trouble. But that 100%. is definitely not the mental state AR ever brings into any tournament. No. I do think, though, uh, Fab. Oh, I want to see Rush. The... That's all I want to see. I want to see Fab DE versus All-Stars. And I want to know who wins that one. I think the, uh, they're the stronger of the Fabby teams. All right. That's at least my opinion. Keep it moving. Yes. Group D, Optic Nation squad. Uh, definitely the, the top team in this one. Going up against Gamers 2, formerly Pain Gaming and more. Uh, that's Tohor and the boys, SSOF Gaming. That is going to be your Brazilian squad. And Exile 5, T1, the Australians. You going with the Aussies or are you going with the Spanish here? You no, know, for me, it comes down to, obviously, the Aussies versus... You know, gamers too here. Uh, I went with the Aussies. I don't feel confident about that though. Yeah. Last year, I thought they were, they're very good on search this year, just like last year, but last year played into their strengths. Uh, I think that uh, Advanced Warfare is a little bit more advanced, uh, not to use the word again, but. Hey. I see what you did there. That was really clever, Matt. That was funny. It's not as, it's not as the kind of, uh, I don't want to say like Ghost is basic, but it's not as kind of straightforward as Ghost was. Uh, I think it's definitely a huge change on respawn. I think you're going to see that from Exile. They're going to struggle mightily on that, but I do think they get by Gamers 2. Exile is just really raw talent. If Gamers 2 has any kind of teamwork, I think Exile 5 is in some trouble. Um, ben, you got a prediction here? Um, I think you have to put Exile through. Ben's already one. making a bracket. I'm already. I'm, Let's I, keep it I'm, going. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, group E, once again, is Envy facing off against former Team Finland. That's now Team Menace. Uh, UX Gaming, the second squad from Germany, and PLT Mind Freak, Plantronics Mind Freak, the top squad in all of Australia. They've subbed out their weakest player, Naked, for the strongest player in Australia, arguably in FIDA. He is basically a young scump, is how some of the guys down there were describing him. Uh, very young, extremely talented, ridiculous reaction time. I think this one is one of the easier groups to predict. I would be shocked if Envy and Mind Freak are not the two that right. come out of this. I one. think the question is, is Mind Freak better than Envy? And I and I think it's going to be a much closer match than a lot of people predict, especially Benson, because 
he, f he forgets. He forgets about the power of Dens. Dens is officially the best player in Australia, according to In Maniac. And if you have Fida right there as well, I think this is a whole lot more firepower in response than what we've ever seen from Australia. That looks confusing my bracket. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at Ben's bracket. If I showed you my bracket right now, your mind would be blown. I'll look at it tomorrow on Bracket Show. No, no, just pass that to you. Let me see it, because I thought I what I thought Don't you said at Don't look at, at it. Bottom. We'll keep it going. Group F. Uh, Revenge, Aware, Infused, and Threes Up Enterprises, another squad who no one thought would make it to the World Championship. Threes Up, S&D Superstars, but will they get a chance to play a game number five? Aware Gaming, number three team from Europe, going up against Infused. The, the EU guys, really excited for the Aware-Infused matchup, but to me, ah. that seems like a one-way street for Aware. No, they, they have to win that. They have to. Three's up in, in revenge here, or are you saying a, a win I think that this second is, spot? This is the only one I think I, a few of us will disagree with. I'm saying three's up in team revenge. I think we can all safely say really? TR. Yeah. I think we all safely say TR comes out. Um, I just think three's up if they can force a game five session, surely they're clutching it and they're winning every single time. I think Aware gets into this one. Um, I think Aware TR. Yeah, yeah uh, Aware, they 6 0 Optic Nation in search. They had Watson. Drop 15 and I'm three. not looking at that. Later the audacious on in the one. Tournament, they looked really good in That's... search, but it was individual performances. Petey was the one who went, I believe it was 16 and 0 in his first game. I, I honestly think search and destroy on the day. Infusion's out. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it. Any, yeah. any team that's playing three on four right. or hasn't been playing with their fourth for over 30 days, I'm you're nervous. Right. Yeah, if your fourth is a StarCraft 2 semi pro, you're in trouble. Right. I mean, Obviously, yeah, okay, he can play, can play AW, but I mean. Yo, you going to take that? You gonna all right moving on <laughs> yeah just because you kind of have to group g uh, group g face black heavy favorite here or are they tcm could argue for that top spot um essentia second or third best team in france and then below zero who is at the bottom of the u.s totem pole so i'm going I'm going easy phase black TCM here. I don't know the order, See, though, to be honest. For me, it's kind of funny that Doug brought it up because I think this is the exact pool where that happens, where TCM gets first, phase black gets second, and then phase black causes some issues in the bracket oh, being sure. that second place team and causing an upset round one. Yeah, could be. Maybe, I, but phase black TCM go through. All right, and finally, group H. Yeah. Team Caliber, Epsilon, Strictly Business, and Integral. All strong squads, of course. Your big three there, TK, Epsilon, and SB. Neslo and SB feeling so confident. They're not even worried about Epsilon Esports when I think Epsilon is the team to look out for to take this pool. He said John was the best player for this Call group. Duty. He did. That's a bold statement. Not from what I saw. That was a crazy statement. Honestly, I think this is going to have a tie second place. Yeah. I think they're going to have to replay. Can't Who see a three-way tie. Ben? I think, honestly, the, all right, the team that plays Integral first... Whoever has that first matchup is going to be pretty set. They're going to be in a really good position. He's going to have a lot of confidence. They like, just win one more and I'm good. Yeah, essentially. I mean, the it, it completely depends on the schedule. This is the one group where this I think one predicting, on it, predicting it before seeing the schedule is almost I would love to see like, the schedule. I, I'm, I'm, it could go so many different ways. It really could. So many ways. We have two more personalities to weigh in knows. after the commercial break. I got a piece of paper that says Momo and Rel are on their way, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll get their thoughts after this.